kit unboxing. So here we go. So first in the kit you have six arms for your hexacopter. Next you are provided with the carbon fiber landing gear. Next you have a battery holder and a holder for your FPV camera. So tomorrow if you plan on putting a camera on your drone, here is where you can place it with a two or three axis gimbal. Next, this is your holder on which there are these shafts which go through these holders inside and this is your bearing which you can put inside here. Okay. So next part and this is the lower part. So these PCBs are internally soldered as you can see these golden dots here. So all these golden dots are internally connected. So what you have to do simply is just solder your battery here and each one of your individual ESCs here. Okay, and then once you put these arms over here, you can simply mount the upper part and your drone is ready. Finally, you have various types of screws which are included in the kit. And most importantly, the Allen key set, which is not included in the kit, but I advise you buy it because it is very important for you when setting up the drone. So you get all of the various sizes of your Allen keys. Cool. Next, we come on to the brain of the drone, which has a Pixar kit, a radio telemetry, a GPS module with a stand. After this, you need to select six motors. We are using 920 kV motors here from Ready to Sky with inbuilt bullet connectors which makes your job much easier while connecting to the ESCs. Next, we have chosen the 40 ampere ESCs with female bullet connectors so that the motors can easily be connected here. After that, we are using 10 inch propellers for better and stable flight with adapters for various diameters of the motor shaft. And finally, we come to the battery. So in this case, we are using a 8000 mAh 3S 11.1 volt battery, which has a XT90 connector. We have also bought a XT90 to XT60 converter so that it can easily go into the Pixox power module. Okay guys, so here is our drone and now I'm going to tell you how each of the components in our S550 kit corresponds to this drone so you can build it faster and easier. So these are the arms which we had seen. So here you can see these are the various arms which you have to set up this way. Next, you have these landing gears, carbon fiber ones, which are there below the drone over here with these L arms. Okay. Next, we had looked at these shafts with the FPV camera and the battery holder. So these are put together here as you can see in this part. Next, we had both of our PCBs which are kept here. As you can see, all of these ESCs are soldered internally. This is the top and this is the bottom. So this is how it looks like on the drone. So as you can see, what we are doing here is we are scratching that particular surface of the soldering area with a blade. And why that is done is because, you know, it makes the surface rough so that the solder can hold better to that particular area, right? So if you would have seen that red wire, it has properly fitted on and when you solder it like this, it will fit properly. So this is how a thrust test setup of a motor with a propeller looks like, right? So you basically have your a uh, battery and you have your setup which basically measures how the thrust of the motor varies with respect to the current and the supplied voltage and the size and pitch of the propeller correct so this is how the setup is there are various types of setups you can even create your own setup using say an arduino or a raspberry pi okay and now let's look at a example of a thrust table so this is the thrust table for as i have typed on google for our dji 920 kv motors so if you see here there are two voltages one is 11.1 volt one is 14.8 will you guess what it is yeah this is 3s and 4s respectively okay so 
now see now to give you the size of the propeller so what is this 10 into 4.5 or 9.4 into 4.3 this is basically the size of the propeller in inches into the pitch of the propeller right so the thrust also depends on the size of the propeller now is the throttle so throttle is basically like the accelerator of your car okay 100 percent throttle will be at maximum thing when it has to achieve the maximum lift okay this is the ampere count how much ampere so this is per motor guys please note this is ampere current per motor which goes inside this is the watt count this is basically the efficiency and this what you see is most important for us this is the thrust in grams generated by that particular motor at that particular voltage and current with that particular propeller so if you see here if we use a 10 into 4.5 inch propellers which we just uh, saw when we unboxed our uh, box and everything so this generates around 860 grams of thrust per motor okay at 100 percent throttle so even if you consider say it's around 800 to be kind of realistic if you consider it as 800 gram 6 8 a 48 so it's a 4.8 kg of the thrust that your entire hexacopter can generate with 10 inch propellers and dji 920 kv motors okay so now we will move on to the next part right so here we are just uh, testing out the current that is uh, taken by this particular motor it's not a thrust test we are just doing it for our own research purpose and uh, don't put all propellers at once uh, you will have trouble so we are just testing it on one and then we just uh, put all this but here it's uh, our arduino setup and everything is just connected to one particular rotor so here we are testing you can see that particular arm being lifted so we are measuring the current and everything related to that right so uh, as you can see our drone is almost ready now those are the esc dangling and yes so here you can see the way our drone is now ready and sturdy so once you attach uh, the upper pcb your drone becomes much stronger right so as you can see i'm pushing it but uh, it's stabilizing automatically so now that we have set up our drone let's figure out how do we put the intelligence in it uh, in order to make it fly and i know most of us are excited to you know just take it out right now and take it for a spin but hey you need to wait for a while and figure things out make sure it is safe make sure all the parameters and systems are calibrated properly and that you have read all the various instructions all the various parameters and then you are good to go and fly your drone tools through which uh, you can program your drone i would say one on the screen that i am displaying is the Q ground control so this is a very uh, robust software which you can download it also has uh, a mobile app i guess so uh, it's also easier for you to control your drone through your mobile application and it's a the Q ground control is a great app you know for various multi-rotor fixed wings or VTOLs and it is a much uh, decent software uh, but for my case I have been uh, mainly for the beginners I would suggest you go first with the mission planner so mission planner is a software again developed uh, by Arduino pilot so it's an open source uh, software so the advantage that you have here for mission planner is that you can write python code and you can create your own missions you can create your own virtual flights in this as well okay so that's an added advantage you know if you want to pursue some amount of research in this uh, drone field or in the drone flying area right so let's see what this mission plan is basically about as i told you it's great for beginners because it has a very intuitive ui you see the options and you can easily navigate yourself through now i will be making a video on the detailed journey of mission planner and how do you directly start from calibrating your drone till you know programming advanced missions but i feel at this stage 
the true justice that you can do to your drone machine will be when you go step by step and read all of these features given in the website because they have very nicely documented everything in a step by step manner and if you go through it you will understand the intricacies you will face certain problems you will overcome them that will teach you a lot about your machine or your drone which you have made okay so just to give you a quick idea you can see on your left you have all these various steps right from mission planning you can go any to your how do you build how do you have various screens how can you run it in different uis so that you can follow this step by step process and you will get to know more details about it so this is how it kind of looks like next i'll just uh, show you on see so they have also mentioned about your first time setup so how do you install the software how do you do the autopilot assembly and you know see they have also given you great diagrams and pictures here so for your pixoc 2.4.8 say they have told you on how you can do it either via usb connection which is a wired one or through the radio telemetry psyche radio option that you have and they have discussed about the various baud rate and the link stats and how do you troubleshoot it right so it's a very step by step intuitive to approach then they also show you about how do you connect the various uh, motors or the rather the esc connections to your pixoc so as you can see for the hexacopter these uh, highlighted white colored spaces so with a negative positive and a signal connection so these are how the pins go for your hexacopter and they have also told you about hey how you, how do you need to position your clockwise and anti clockwise motors in what configuration for a quad or a hexa or octocopter so they have given a, it's it's very nicely explained here and you can go through it you can uh, you know take your time explore this properly understand the fundamentals behind it understand the engineering aspect because you know making a drone and just flying it is very easy and you will find hundreds of uh, people who, who can do that but the real fun in a drone lies when you understand the science behind it when you understand how this machine works then you will have more control on your machine you will be able to do many great things with it right so yeah as i told you this kind of explains it and uh, so what we will be doing next is i'll be showing you uh, the calibration right so we'll be going at the calibration next uh, calibration step is simple as uh, they have shown it here right so as i told you uh, we'll be moving next i'll be showing you how the accelerometer calibration is done and these are the steps that we'll be following so let's dive right in Next to the right, so I place it on the right like this, place it here. Then I place it nose down, and then the last, and I press N key. Next, I place it nose up, like this. This is the top or the front of the drone. Press N key, and finally, I place the rotor on the back side, like this, parallel to the ground, and then. So calibration of the above is successful. Now you have to calibrate the level. Always place the drone on a level surface and just keep calibrating. Manual for this FSTH 9X controller. So you can see we first have the antenna, an LCD display, a toggle switch and we see that there are various sticks right so these are all programmable sticks and you can assign them to do various functions okay so for example you need to do box dropping or you need to put it in gps hold mode or altitude hold mode or autonomous mode so you can do a lot of switching here right you have the you have a pitch throttle you can control the rudders you can control the elevators you can do the uh, you can do the trimming of the pitch so that your drone is more stable okay so all of these things can be done so this is how it kind of looks like and this manual gives you a lot of information so you can download it it's a fly sky remote here this is basically a binding setup so you will have a binding uh, button behind at the same time so it basically means that your remote is connected to the receiver on your drone okay 
so yeah i mean you can go through it uh, you can uh, simply download uh, this pdf if you need to so if you decide to buy this particular uh, controller it, it is not required although i mean if you want to perform complex operations then this is definitely helpful or else even a six channel or lesser channel remote is more than enough okay but ensure that three or four of those channels uh, will be used uh, for you to control your drone manually so if you want to have many more things then i would suggest you go for the nine channel one right right so now we'll switch on and we will start our drone okay so what we'll do now is we'll take it out for flying uh, in which we will first uh, do a manual flight and then i will show you my autonomous flight so this is how manual flying looks like people as uh, you can see i have to kind of counter the wind because there's a lot of wind on the ground and i have also taken it for a spin so it is going far don't worry it will not crash i have the control of it and it is coming so you can see how fast it is at the same time you know it, it has gone high it has gone higher than that particular tree and uh, now what i'll do is i'll bring it back slowly i'll bring it back and now you enjoy the voice of it coming down So what you are seeing here is an autonomous mission. Uh, so as you can see, I am not at all controlling the remote. I am just walking there, but it is in my hand in case anything goes wrong, and it will calmly land as per its two-point autonomous mission. Right. In the next uh, drone uh, that you are going to see here, I have tried to put more than one kg uh, load in that particular box. So in order to show you the uh, failure also, I will show you on how this drone is not able to perform properly. See, so it dips, right? So I just don't want to show you the best side and everything. So you also need to know that it has a limitation. It cannot carry more than one kg. So it's not safe. But 500 gram flight was perfect. Okay. And now for the grand moment, it's a video which I have put of a FPV camera. I'll add the description of this FPV camera in the description. Uh, you can enjoy this video and if there is uh, anything you need to know any other questions that you may have feel free to drop in the comment section and i leave you to enjoy this drone video thank you Hooray, so our drone is landed and now you can see the different drones which I have also made. So this is one for aquaculture and this are my great friends who helped me through the endeavor. So come on guys, go ahead, make your drone flight and enjoy your journey. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you can